She is Sister Demiana St. John the Beloved, the director of Raha Kids, a children's home located along George Padmo Road. that only caters for the boy child. The unique facility serves the orphaned, abused and abandoned boys who had turned to the streets in search of lost hope and others who had run away from hostility in their home. It is a refuge for these boys, providing them with a place of solace and love. Demiana is a mother to over 80 boys from different backgrounds, but whose singular tribe is Raha Kids. Hers is a dream that has actualized by serving others, even with no financial gain. But why the boy child? I researched, there are many grant programs open up for mothers and children, for mothers and girls. There's a lot of programs for girls, but I did not find many programs for boys. And in America, we have seen the same problem. In fact, they created schools just for Afro-American boys because they lack the fathership and the leadership. So I believe that I would like to, I love boys, they're wonderful. And I would like to nurture a leadership in them and also a fatherhood in them. A project, a godsend. Raha Kids was born out of a dream by missionaries of the Orthodox Church who bestowed the responsibility of running the facility to Demiana. Probably the bishop, Bishop Paul, of uh, the Coptic Orthodox Church in 2009. He had two missionaries that were here, uh, Michael and Lydia, and together they brainstormed, uh, well, let's have a program for the a street program for those who are in the street, for those who are homeless. So uh, the bishop told me that at the beginning it was a project for them and they never imagined that it would grow to be a true program of, of education. And they are very happy that they did. Eventually, the two people who were part of the brainchild of it, Michael and Lydia, they have moved on. Uh, they're living in Canada right now. And they were looking for somebody to come and to be the mother to the children. P. P. U. U. T. T. Besides affording beneficiaries quality education, the center lay emphasis on talent through academic programs, music, sports, drama, and arts. Most of with talents, music, and choral verses, and uh, poems, anything to do with talent, yeah. So I have my friends also work together to help these kids actually to make keep their mind busy. Some of them to forget some of the things that that are gone through. Some of them because some of them are traumatized and some of them are coming in a poor life background. My, on my side, I find it quite interesting to work with the kids. Yeah, like when I'm training the kids, it's, uh, okay. Most of the time, I have easy time. They catch things very fast. Like, it's interesting, let me say it. Before, I was walking outside the street begging money, so when I come here, I just change my life. Well wishers visit the home, offering the children guidance and encouragement, a luxury they so lacked while toiling on the streets. For Sister Demiana, hers is a dream come true, providing love for the boy child, who without her intervention would perhaps have ended up a social outcast. Shila Yogo, reporting for Channel One News.